Oh. So she. Uh. If we show them I took it off, is it okay to not have it? Yeah, if you leave this part in. Okay. Monique can lose her wig, Valentina can show her nipples, and I can have my right thumb. Because <laughs> I'm a goddamn businesswoman and I have to sign the checks. <laughs> they would say in the UK, and Craction. Okay, what was it? Episode seven. Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Cracker. I forgot my name. And it's time for Review with a Jew. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars for episode seven. Lucky number seven. Seven dwarves, seven vices, seven deadly sins, seven virtues, seven sisters. All Stars rules are back in full effect. Latrice is happy to be here even though she wanted Monique gone. But Valentina is like Eureka. She's just happy to be here. This is not the first time she's been threatened with deportation. It's time for the main challenge. Today's challenge is to create an iconic club night. Latrice is a returning bitch. She gets to pair up the girls. Manila and Trinity, Monet and Moniqua, Valentina and Naomi. What do we do with fashion? We'll find out. <laughs> and then Latrice has to choose which group she's going to go with. Monet's like, hey, come with us because it was so fun last time. Bye -bye. But Latrice chooses to go with Manila and Trinity. I was wondering why she decided to put two high-powered girls together. Turns out, she was building a dream team. Brainstorming time! The girls get together to design their club. They are, uh, designing women right now. The Black Hole. Monet and Monique think they just did something here, but, uh... They should have had a V8. Club 96. Valentina and Naomi together is the weirdest episode of, wait, what? Ever. I'm talented. <laughs> These ladies know fashion, but do they understand music? The Hive. Oh. Beehive. I know the importance of puns in a skit, and these girls are hitting every single one. It's time to do a little interior decorating. Move that bus! Latrice, I mean. All the teams are gonna get together and decorate their own little clubhouse. Monet is like, do not use these rollers to paint sideways. If you watch Monique's Cosmo makeup tutorial, you know she has a very haphazard way of painting. <laughs> Valentina's balls are on Naomi's neck. Ew. Jesus. Gross. The hive is humming along, but they have a hive mind. I think they might be in the top. Fanny, how are they gonna hammer their hive together? It might take just a few wax. Okay. Sledgehammer's down, babies. It's time to beat that face. Back in the workroom, Valentina is claiming that Naomi took over. And Naomi is claiming that Valentina didn't do shit. Oh. I still don't know who Rita Ora is. <laughs> Sing a song by Rita Ora right now. I know, I know him, but I'm- Right? We all, you know that you know her. I'm like blanking. But every time you think yeah. about Rita Ora, you're like, oh, I, wait, that's actually Demi Lovato. Time for the club night premieres, ladies and gentlemen. First up, Black Hole with a little Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> Monet and Monique are depending on two things, a wing and a prayer. Yeah, it's like a spaceship, but maybe constellation, black hole, alien. Who knows? I don't know. It's a black hole! It's a mystery! They end the whole thing by high-fiving the way they imagine white girls do. <laughs> Naomi and Valentina essentially recreate the set of the first real world. I'd like to pause the tape here for a second. And just say that they both look fucking stunning. For some reason, Valentina is speaking in rhyming couplets, except I'm getting more Seuss than Shakespeare. The Hive! I kind of want them to open this club. Bring it to the runway. Runway. Rap, 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 runway. The runway today is plastique. Fantastique. Asia O'Hara is shaking. Bibi Zahara Benet is shaking. Monique will have been shaken. Mm -hmm. Naomi brings out the big dicks again. Discs. Again, big discs, whatever, that's it. Michelle accuses Manila of showboating just a little bit. This is always an interesting one, especially for when someone smells like a winner. Because let's face it, at this point, Manila is Ben de la Creming. She has been on top more often than Suzanne Barsh. Oh, good one! Yes, it is yes. organic too. Okay. <laughs> My favorite part of this is when Michelle tells the beehive, you guys didn't just, you know, basically recreate the interior illusions lounge. Close up on Naomi. Boom. Oh. <laughs> 
Valentina, haven't we seen this before? No, mis amores. They call Monique no Safine Baker. If I was in her position, they would probably call me nose Safine Baker. Was that uh, two on the nose for you? Okay. Caitlin, just read the notes. On top today, we have Latrice and Trinity. Gag for Manila, because she did most of the talking. She speaks for Latrice, for Latrice does not speak. <laughs> and what do you do with fashion? Dispose. Naomi and Valentina will be fighting for their life. It's time for the girls to plead their cases. Naomi's all like, hello, I did the most work. And Valentina's like, I know you're not gonna say no me home. That doesn't go with my fantasy. The time has come for Trinity and Latrice to lip sync for their money. Money, 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 money. Monet says Trinity is being disgusting. What is she doing out there on the main stage with titty swinging? Um... Today, the win goes to Latrice, and with great sorrow, she sends home Valentina. What a drama between Latrice and Valentina today. So you know I couldn't resist but talk to one of them about how it all went down. Okay, so you've had a fucking huge week. How do you feel? I'm just so, like, overwhelmed with emotion. There's just so much going on that I'm so blessed and so honored, but a little overwhelmed with all the emotions that I feel. I've just been living in my house right now, just keeping really calm and off of some to kind of just have a moment to reflect. When did you find out that Rent was not going to be actually showing live? It was going to, they were going to show a dress rehearsal. Sunday morning, it kind of just uh, shifted into a different um, opening night, you know, and it, it, the energy shifted and I think um, there was the things that happened that were against my power and we just have to move forward and yeah. be a professional and, and, and just push through. Um, but it was definitely a surprise to all of us. Was it exciting yeah, to be part of the process to, to make it, rehearse it, and do like an iconic musical like this? The process, the journey that it took to, to make all that happen was definitely my favorite part of this whole experience. The journey and the challenges every single day of having new things to focus on, whether it be intent or vocal technique or choreography or camera angle. Yeah. And to be doing all this stuff for the very first time yeah. um, was very exciting. And, um, I'm very, very, like, kind of, like, challenged artistically to know that my first kind of breakout role in something like this was so big. Yeah. And it required, my character required so much. And I'm so glad that I got chosen to be in something that was so difficult and so challenging that it kind of fuels me to kind of push to prove so many things about myself still. Like, I feel like I'm constantly always fighting and there's always a struggle as an artist to continue to push further and kind of develop. That makes me think about this episode. What do you think about landing in the bottom? To be honest, America looks at you as an all-star hands down. Well, at this point, I was used to being in the bottom. You know, there was times where I didn't feel it was not the right time. This time specifically, I knew I deserved and earned to be in the bottom. There was a walkthrough with Rue where we kind of presented our ideas that wasn't shown in the show. And um, Naomi and I, we had put forth kind of like this idea of it being like some really bougie high fashion club and then at the strike of midnight because it was Club 96. At midnight, it turned into Club 69 and turned into like some sex club and got sexy after night. And that's when you could like kind of like be barebacked by a Ford if you wanted to. You know? um, <laughs> At last! <laughs> and so we were presenting this stuff to Rue, and Rue was like, okay, no, that's not gonna work. You know? <laughs> and I'm the kind of artist that when people shut down my ideas, I kind of like fight against them and I do them anyway. But being that this is on TV, you can't do that. Yeah. And so to not be able to do that, it put me in a mental block. And Naomi, um, went on and broke everything and pushed me through it and talked me through it. Being in the bottom for me was very much deserving. Um, Naomi staying in the competition is very much deserving. What is next for you? Because as I said, America looks at you as a fucking icon. Well, I have a major audition later today. I'm pushing so hard to continue on this journey of being an artist and exploring, continuing being in television, becoming a singer and yeah. really working 
part of that. I have a lot to prove with that, especially after rent um, and the situation that was put for me. I have so much to prove about me and as yeah. an artist to myself more than to anybody. I'm definitely going to be going on tour with my own kind of show that okay. I put together and just um, continuing being this character, Valentina, and pushing her to see how, how far I can take it for her to be a star. I think know? it's called the fantasy. Um, it's your fantasy, baby. I have learned a huge lesson from you. If you're in your fantasy, nothing can affect you either way. And God damn it, I think that may be the best way to live. I think that's Valentina's most important lesson <laughs> for the world. It's definitely a defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah. Because when you have the reality of life and um, a, a bad deck of cards dealt for you, you know, that not the odds are not in your favor. Fuck the odds. Fuck the deck of cards. Close your eyes and dream. Baby, thank you so fucking much. Go off and kill an audition. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you more on TV, more in the world, and I can't wait to see the Valentina show. Thank you for tuning in. And if you want more inside scoop on All Stars 4, remember to be here next week for Review with a Jew. That's me. Okay. That's me, the Jew. Yeah. Oh. Caitlin, just read the notes.